that's all I get, that's all I get. First off, thank you all for coming to Fireproof U 2009. This is our second event. We were here last year, and uh, we had maybe a little bit bigger crowd, but I think we might have a better crowd this year. I I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure. Hey, here's the thing. You guys are about to witness something really, really cool, very phenomenal. And it's your job, since you all were sharp enough to be out here tonight, it's your job to go tell your friends what you saw tonight, okay? We're here because we care. And I think you're here because you want to see something burn. Is that right? Yeah, right. You guys are very welcome neighbors in our city here. And these folks right here keep you safe every day. I want you to give them a round of applause right now. These guys right here, guys and gals, the Harrisonburg Fire Department. We're really proud of our effort for fire prevention. This is absolutely part of it, us coming out to tell you guys about what happens with fire. Now, the biggest difference between the people on this side of the line and the people on your side of the line is we've seen this happen hundreds of times, hundreds of times, and we know how fast it happens. And that's what I want you to take away today. I want you to understand how fast this happens. That's the first thing, because we know how fast it gets really bad, okay? The second thing is, there are two different colored mock rooms here. The one on the left, the gold team, has a fire sprinkler in it. How many people have fire sprinklers where they live? Are you sure? Yeah, probably about half of you, right? How many people don't then? How many people don't have sprinkler rooms? All right. Your room is on the right-hand side. The purple side has no fire protection in it at all. It has a smoke alarm in it, which will go off and tell you there's a fire, but it has nothing to do with putting the fire out. What our demonstration is going to prove today is the effectiveness of fire sprinklers and how fast fire grows. So what we're going to see, I believe, is we're going to see this sprinkler, this little bitty fire sprinkler putting out about 15 gallons a minute. It's going to put this fire out in the gold room. In the purple room, the firefighters are going to have to put it out because it's not going to get put out on its own. It's going to really get really, really bad. Now, the firefighters' hoses puts out about 250 gallons a minute and the sprinkler puts out 15. Hey, good things do come in small packages. I think you're going to see this fire sprinkler really do a real, real number on this fire. So, we've got two willing participants up here to light these fires. We're going to light them simultaneously. They'll grow at just about the same rate. What's going to happen, the fire sprinkler over here is going to activate, and I'll walk you through this thing. It's going to put the fire out, and at some point, the firefighters are going to have to put that one out because it's going to get really nasty, and that's what you come to see, right? All right, so, Captain Hart, Firefighter Cuisenberry, light that candle. What we have in front of us here, to my, uh, to my left, your right, is a timer. And I would, I'm really interested to see how quickly this sprinkler reacts. I'll bet it's probably like, what do you think? Anybody got an idea? How, how many minutes? Here. Six seconds. Yeah, how about maybe two minutes? Something like that. Anytime you're ready, yeah. I think maybe like a minute or two, something like that. And when we light this, Lieutenant Landis is going to crank this uh, timer up, and we'll see how long it takes. Now, what we basically see here is a common fire, a uh, common dorm room, common type of... There's a smoke alarm going off already. Uh, kind of something happens all the time. A trash can fire, maybe a candle lights something on fire. And already, the smoke alarm's working. Smoke alarm don't put fire out there. It just tells you that there is a fire. Now you've got to be able to put this, look at that. How long was that? 22 seconds. Holy cow. At 15 gallons a minute, that thing's already put that fire out. It's amazing. Now, that's only 15 gallons a minute. These guys are going to throw 250 gallons a minute. You can see the fire coming out over here now. It's starting to, uh, for you folks, you can see it over here. It's starting to climb up the wall a little bit. And there's going to become a point where we call flash over. Flash over is the point where everything in that room just kind of goes poof, and it's just a big ball of fire. And I'll kind of walk you through it. But this fire over here, you're going to live out this fire right now. You're going to get out, you're going to be safe. I'll guarantee you. But this fire over here, it's getting to where you're not going to be able to survive it. At some point, you will never get out. Right now, those temperatures are at the ceiling are probably close to 1,000 degrees. Uh, down at the floor, uh, it's a lot better chance of surviving. That's why we tell folks, when you're, when you're getting out of a fire, you can see that it's cooler on the bottom down there. Don't stand up because you'll stand up into the hot gases. Right now we're getting close to flashover, and I would say we're probably right about the time of flashover right now. 
as far as getting a little bit nasty. We're going to let it grow a little more because even right now, you've got very little chance of surviving this fire. See this thing dropping down? You'll see this fire just roll out and all at once, it'll get really bad. We're a minute and four seconds, folks. A minute and seven seconds. Watch this black smoke turn into fire here in a minute. You're going to see it. It's just going to come out and just turn orange with fire. You won't survive that fire there right now. Look how thick that smoke is. And we're not even containing the smoke. It's going away from here. It's getting pretty nasty. A minute, 22 seconds. Our average response time in the city of Harrisonburg is 4.06 minutes. We're usually on the scene in 4.06 minutes on average. We just got the call of this fire. Look how nasty it is. See how the smoke is starting to fill that compartment? And at some point, it's going to become so hot, everything ignites all at once. It's coming now. It's coming out now. It's getting real close, and all of that black smoke will turn into fire. You guys are at a perfectly safe distance here right now. Do not worry. The firefighters are going to put this out once it flashes over and get some real serious involvement. We're at two minutes. Two minutes. It seems like forever. And believe me, as you're sitting there waiting on the firefighters to get there, I bet it would seem like forever. But the firefighters are probably coming across the interstate by now if you live here. That's flashover right there. You're done right there. You will not live at this point. Those temperatures are well in excess of 1,500 degrees, and uh, you will not survive that fire right there. I think the guys are going to go up and put this fire out, and this is how quick it happens, folks. It won't take much, but that's what a firefighter does for you. Now, that hose is putting out about 250 gallons a minute, and this one's only been putting out 15 gallons a minute. People say sprinklers, they ruin things with water. I think not. Not at 15 gallons a minute. That 250 gallons a minute will cause a lot of damage. And that's what they do best right there, folks. Give them a round of applause right there. This is beef shift for you. This is very unusual for fire and spirit. It does a beef shift that hardly ever burns when these guys are around. It knows better. I've been told that beef shift does stand for the best. Beef for best. We'll have to see. But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that, that should speak to you right there. Two things how nasty fire gets and we're only at two minutes and 30 seconds into that thing and we're not even on the scene yet and it's that bad it also shows the effectiveness of fire sprinklers uh it's very very advantageous for you to live in a place that has fire sprinklers many of the dorms on campus have fire sprinklers many of the uh, apartment complexes here have fire sprinklers and right now there is a move afoot to have fire sprinklers installed in every house that's built in virginia and a lot of people like it, there are firefighters, but a lot of other people don't like it. But the reason why we like it is because it saves your lives, every single one of you. If you live in that dorm room right there, you can see that things are a little bit wet, but guess what? You got clothes dryers, right? It's not a problem. Over there, two things, ruined uh, personal belongings and a dead person in it. It doesn't work that way. We're going to cool this down a little bit, and I think, Captain Hart, we're going to let folks uh, go in and take a look at this, right? So we're going to take down the tape here in a little bit. We want to make sure that it's not too hot. Just please uh, be careful that there might be things that are washed out. If you've got sandals on, potentially there could be something sharp there to cut your foot on. We ask that you do not go into the dorm rooms. You're more than welcome to photograph and look at everything. And also, every person here wearing a uniform is more than willing to talk to you about what just happened. I probably don't have much to say because I told you all I know right here. But all these folks right here, they know exactly, they live this every day. And we're willing to tell you anything about what happened right there. But I think uh, we'll look at it right there and tell, we'll tell the story for you. But we're really glad you guys came out and supported uh, all of our uh, fire safety things. The Harrisonburg Police Department, Harrisonburg Rescue Squad, KISS 93, Kevin, and uh, Papa John's. We really appreciate you guys coming out. So. Um, Give us a few minutes, and when we take this tape, then you guys are more than welcome to visit with us.